What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite for a full breakdown of the Season 3 Battle Pass for Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. We got some beautiful new artwork and a ton of exclusive previews of upcoming skins, blueprints, and other surprises that you probably did not expect, which are going to be releasing on April the 3rd. First off, in the background, we have this nice artwork of the Season 3 Battle Pass, perfectly emphasizing our Kony focus of the season. You got Makarov, you got Banshee, you got a new character to the left, and we, of course, have the return of Snoop Dogg, right? Some beautiful new outfits will be featured in our third battle pass but with that being said we also have plenty of coverage over on detonated.com for those out there that are interested in additional coverage in the form of articles this article is being edited as we speak by our lead writer lots that needs to be added into this article here but there was a glimpse of a lot of cool skins in the initial rebirth gameplay trailer as of yesterday made a video about that but we also got plenty of other articles going up about multiplayer warzone zombies warzone mobile the week eight updates lots of stuff you don't want to miss out on but with that being said uh, as of today, we got the confirmation that these are our weapons coming in our Season 3 Battle Pass. So we have the FJX Horus. That's the MP9 uh, machine pistol. We kind of saw a variant of that in Advanced Warfare. We, of course, have the beautiful Morse Sniper, which is really exciting. It's a railgun. And then we have the Gladiator melee weapon. Those three will be featured day one in the Battle Pass through various sectors we're going to go through in a second. But then mid-season, we have the BAL-27. It's unclear right now if that's going to be in the classified sector. Is that going to be through just a weekly challenge? It's a little bit unclear, but I'm sure we'll learn more about that in the coming weeks. But those are our weapons coming. There will also be bundles released for these weapons. In case you guys don't want to unlock them to the Battle Pass, you can just buy bundles and use them straight away. And you can even exfil with them in Zombies to auto-unlock all that. But... We did get a nice glimpse of our full Season 3 Battle Pass map. They typically start revealing these Battle Pass maps throughout the initial seasonal blog post and then the Tuesday before the start of a new season. So 24 hours before April 3rd, this Tuesday, we should be getting a full-fledged and dedicated Battle Pass blog post, Black Soul trailer. We'll be covering all of that here on the main channel. But let's go through our full map, as you can see. And I'm sure Season 3 is going to be a full-fledged season. I know this timer up here is probably incorrect. But with that, you can't see our classified sector just yet. But if you look at the math, it looks like May 1st should be the start of Season 3 Reloaded. That should be when the classified sector does open up. But taking a look here at our entire map, get our instant rewards here. We see a Snoop Dogg skin. We got a Makarov look. Uh, very, very cool. Not sure what the Black Soul variants look like just yet. We're going to find that out in the next couple of days. But you also get, looks like another pet finisher, a blueprint, and then an exclusive token there, which is going to be a consumable. Here's our icon for the Season 3 Battle Pass. Cover my camera for a second so you guys can see. And then going through some of the other sectors here, you have Black Cell could be your starting point if you buy that $30 bundle. We'll talk about the Black Cell operator in a second. And then, as you will see, throughout our pass, you could see a blueprint there. The blueprints themselves don't look that crazy, but I'm sure the Black Cell variants with traces are going to be a lot more impressive. You see some operator skins, a finishing move. Uh... You see our new weapon right up. See the top left of the map, which is the MP9. Some zombie consumables also featured in some of these sectors. Some decent looking blueprints. Got some COD points. Another operator skin there towards the bottom. I think that's for Banshee or is that someone else? Probably somebody else. I see a Dokubi skin up there, which is nice. I'm loving the look of the uh, the bandana on her. Some nice blue and red blueprints. This one's kind of plain, but I'm sure the Black Cell variants will definitely be peak. Um, loving the blue and red variant, though. Liking that quite a bit. With some more operator skins. We got our new melee weapon right there. The Morse is towards the bottom. So I'm sure most folks are probably going to end up going straight for the Morse or the MP9. But for those that want to get crazy with it, they'll probably maybe start at Black Cell, get the melee weapon right away, and then work their way to the Morse or something. We'll have to wait and see. But then we got some more COD points. And then our uh, completion sector with a really cool looking Makarov variant, which we're going to get to in the blog post here. But some really cool looking operators. I think overall, with the Season 3 Battle Pass, the highlight as of right now, before our Black Cell marketing, is our operator skins. And the weapons, of course. But in terms of like the blueprints and the other skins we can see, they're not anything crazy. But Stoop Dog, Makarov, for sure some highlights here for our third season. Closing out of that and getting into the Season 3 blog post, obviously, with the... Black Soul Offering, we're going to be seeing a trailer and dedicated blog this upcoming Tuesday. Loving the fact that they're mixing in other colors, though, aside from just black and gold. Because black and gold, it's going to get a little stale at a certain point in time, right? But we got some blue into the mix. It's obviously my favorite color, as you guys can see with the theme of my channel. So, a bit biased towards the blue. Loving the look of that. But, as it says, Black Soul grant you extensive collection of digitized and animated operator skins in shimmering gold with vertical glyph streams. Planet tattoo work, golden glitch wear mask, black fabric... Uh, and vivid teal blue uh, accent 
um, oh my god, these words, man. Word vomit right here in front of me. <laughs> a word, a variety of finely crafted premium items are yours with full access to the Season 3 Battle Pass. Black Cell owners can enter the Season 3 Battle Map through the exclusive Black Cell sector, instantly unlocking 20 Battle Token tier skips to quickly unlock items across the adjacent sector. So there'll be a dedicated roadmap for the Black Cell content in a couple days. They might drop that on Monday, actually, the day before some of the marketing starts. They sometimes switch it up a bit. But let's see what we have for Season 3's Black Cell. Uh, you get the new stasis black cell operator plus the aggressive action frag grenade blueprint with death effect okay sounds exciting double barrel uh disrespect finishing move the all that glitters black cell animated blueprint for the bass b uh with some was it a sync tracers and desync dismemberment death effects at 1100 cod points so that's off the rip upon purchase but then claiming other tiers throughout other sectors of the season three battle pass will get you 12 operator skins uh for stasis yeah, that's what it says. If Black Cell members can earn an exceptional Black Cell offering, including 12 Operator skins for Stasis, uh, Makarov, two skins, Snoop Dogg, Swagger, Ripper, Doc, Riptide, and Banshee, as well as Corso, Byline, and Hush. Seven animated weapon blueprints and one for lethal equipment. So, getting a lot here for Black Cell this season, if you guys are interested in cosmetics, which is probably why you're clicking this video. This is in addition to the 112 regular Battle Pass items. Players upgraded Black Cell after purchasing the pass will also receive 1,100 COD points back. And then all this does transfer into Warzone Mobile. As a reminder, Warzone Mobile will also have some exclusive Battle Pass rewards. If you guys do buy Black Cell or just a regular Battle Pass, you get exclusive rewards that only work in mobile. But it's more bang for your buck, essentially. You went through the map already. Let's see. Instant Unlock Snoop Dogg 2. So it's an operator skin for the existing Snoop Dogg operator that released in Modern Warfare 2. Hopefully that is clear. 110 pieces of unlockable content. But here's the deep dive into the specific operators. I am freaking out over this Makarov offering. So you get a pretty cool tactical Coney look for the man himself. But then you get the Wolf Operator look. That's awesome. That's actually sick. Uh, then you get Snoop Dogg. Brand new look for his character. Is he a clone? Is he working for Coney? What's going on with the, the narrative of Snoop Dogg here? It's obviously redacted. But then you have Banshee at Sector 13. Uh, natural Scrapper. Orla Murphy always finds a way to get what she wants. Let's see. It looks like... Following her discharge, Cortex was quick to offer a mercenary contract to simply be herself. That's cool. So, her little backstory here. And then we have uh, Hush. Available at Tier 100? He's in the completion sector. And once a simple farmhand thrusts into the chaos of Mad uh, Magodishu, Bashir, or Bashir was forged to the city's fire and became its most capable agent. Let's see. Checking the attention of a Cortex recruiter. Uh, Bashir enlisted and began his journey as an international mercenary. Now he stands among Cortex's finest, a soldier for the highest bidder among Cortex clientele. So that's cool. So Hush is his code name. But then Stasis, this is the new Black Cell operator for the season. It's got thrown down a little bit. Instant Black Cell rewards. So love in the blue. Obviously a redacted description for his character though. So that's what's going on with Black Cell as of right now. Moving into store offerings though, as a reminder, we do have the Warzone four year anniversary gift pack. That's gonna be sick. So with the launch season three, you will end up seeing um, the release of this free pack in our shops. So celebrating four years of Warzone with memorabilia of Verdance, Rebirth, Caldera, Fortune's Keep. I think even some other maps too, as you'll see. Um, and don't forget April 2nd is Tuesday. Battle Pass blog post. They mentioned that right here, as you can see. So April 3rd, you can claim this. There's also 12 stickers designed by Raven for Caldera, Fortune's Keep, Rebirth, Urzikstan, for Dansk, and then the blueprint itself is for the MCW. Hopefully that is clear. But going into bundles, we'll do a quick little overview, and then I'll have a dedicated video talking more about some of the skins coming throughout the season. Chishin Chong will be in a Tracer pack. Um, that's going to be celebrating 420. Godzilla X Kong, there will be some new Empire bundles. Celebrating the launch of the brand new movie, which actually comes out, I think, tomorrow. Time of recording this. Very cool skins. And Godzilla actually changes colors. So I know it's blue right here, but there is a pink variant of the skin that's either featured in the same bundle or it's a reactive skin that evolves as you get kills. One of the two. Um, Emperor pack. Very, very cool looking skin. And then other bundles in Columbia. This is the, the Sloth to celebrate 420. Got a Velociraptor looking dinosaur there. Brain in a jar. And then this one right here. I think it's part of the Vortex event coming midseason. Very, very cool stuff. So that'll be a Tracer Pack Horseman bundle coming later on. But overall, that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on our Season 3 Battle Pass 
Thus far, again, we have a dedicated marketing coming out for it, including a trailer and blog post, probably this Tuesday, unless things change. And with that, I think we got a really cool glimpse of some of our cosmetics via our brand new trailers. But leave all your thoughts down below. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.